Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to episode 120, the last episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. Let's get it. The Big Eyes Podcast. Five minutes and then he has to leave us. Yeah. But welcome to the last episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. This is a great celebration. Yeah. Uh, as always, we got the best co-host in the world, AD. What's going on, man? How, how it's been a journey, man. We had the end of the book, man. We had the the final page. It's the final chapter. We had the final chapter, man. Maybe we get some. You know, maybe we get some little extra spinoffs or something like that down yeah, the line. Yeah. But, you know. And then obviously we got the the big guy himself. Mills, what's up, bro? So you guys think this is the last episode, but this is not the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> because I won't let you guys actually end this podcast. I refuse to do it. I've yes, you've talked to me about it. Yes, I've previously agreed to it and whatever the fact. But I can't do it. Like you can't is, do it. No. All right, I, I Mills, you got five. You have your... five minutes to pr- place your arguments right here. If you give us a compelling argument within the next five minutes, we won't stop. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but I, I will say that there's definitely a place, and there has always been a place, and for 120 weeks, 120 episodes, and probably a couple more. Um, there has been a place for you guys. Sorry if I'm breaking all your intro, but I definitely, I definitely want to get this, this off my chest because I don't want you guys to leave, but I understand that you guys have to go because we all grow and maybe, you know what, maybe this is the end of one saga and then there'll be a time skip and maybe you guys will be back in the future. Um, but There's always been, I appreciate that you guys commitment to manga because it's so niche and it's so, um, uh, you know, you have to be a real anime fan to be into manga and not necessarily like you're not a real anime fan if you're not into manga, but you got to be deep in the trenches and you got to be like committed to this lifestyle and this culture. And I appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, over the last number of years in, in, in maintaining that and keeping that and, and commenting on things. I mean, I remember the first few episodes of the show and how it sounded. And I honestly, to be honest with you, Jamal, it did not sound bad. So I don't know if you, I know you were very hard critic on yourself, but it did not sound bad. I was very proud of you. And then once you brought AD into the picture, AD just added another element and I still, you know, I'm still grateful for everything that you bring to the lookout, to be honest with you, because you bring the knowledge that I might, to be honest with you, I just don't have. Um, But I don't want to see you guys go because the big eyes is like, it's a one, it's a cool name Two, It's just, man, you know, it's very, who are we going to talk manga with? It's kind of like where, the, the 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 I think the conversation ends up lying down. It's like the people who listen to this podcast, it's like, well, who the fuck am I going to talk manga with now? And I think that's why, you know, we all enjoy the run. I think if it continued, I think people would be happy. But if it, it it's it's not. So I'm just I'm not even gonna. It, it just is what it is. I already signed your two weeks. So it, it, it just, <laughs> yeah, you signed us up. Already. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, let's I already, okay, let's say it like this. Let's say it like this though. I sure. think. Uh, do I think this is like the end for forever? No. 
do i think end. yeah not it's never like yeah not in manga it's never <laughs> the end like you always come back yeah. we might be on some hiatus hiatus maybe y'all see us back in like four years i don't know no no, no. <laughs> don't do don't do the thing where you have to commit and you have to no, no. And stuff like that. Like, don't do the thing where it's like we might be back because then you then you end up like hunter hunter situation where people are waiting three years and it's like it never came back and now it's, <laughs> i mean we see no, some it's work we that. see some work now it's but yeah, no. but look, look how look how destroyed and distraught that Hunter Hunter community was because of that hiatus. So you know what, I, if this is the transition to the next thing, if this is moving on to the next thing, I, I I'm always a proponent of. I mean, I've done you know I've had a podcast that ended two belts quite some time ago. I did a, we did a couple of episodes afterwards, but we had never talked about bringing it back because you can't really not necessarily you can't recapture it, but you know that was it's the, a certain magic. It's just yeah. a certain. It's like it's a flash of lightning, it's not, lightning in a bottle. It's not even that. It's like the end of one thing always leads to the next thing, and it's you got to keep looking forward and you kind of got to keep looking towards the future. And the things that you learn doing the Big Eyes podcast and the things that you learn here, you take with you once you do the next project or the next thing. And you guys are definitely do the next thing. It's not like they're leaving the lookout thing. It's not they're leaving the Lookout Network. It's just Big Eyes just currently won't be anymore. But I'm super, be, beyond being sad about it, I'm super excited because you guys are probably like maybe like two months away from surpassing Lookout in the number of episodes. And just you guys will never do that now. So I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was very afraid. But um, no, it just won't happen. But I appreciate you guys. And uh I, I I I look forward to exercising the Discord a lot more with my thoughts on my hero, and I've been trying to understand a lot of things going on in JJK right now because it's moving in a lot of places. But I I feel like oh JJK I, is so damn confusing right now, bro. I, right now, yeah. bro, I'm just vibing with it. I'm just vibing. You know with what? It. <laughs> I had I'm not even gonna hold you. I had to go find someone on YouTube who talks about it to kind of like really put in layman's terms for me and I have a greater appreciation for it now. So make sure you guys do your YouTubes and your Googles and all this other stuff. Um, and even the same thing for My Hero Academia. Not, and it's really just because of the manga format, which is why I applaud you guys again, because the manga format isn't easy. It's 19 pages over the course of one week and you're expected to review such, you're expected to review possibly 1% of a story every week. And without looking at it as a whole and sometimes you get captured and you don't really capture it as a whole to be honest with you sometimes you're living in the moment because sometimes these chapters are like oh this is the hottest thing that's going on right now but you gotta kind of gotta figure out how it fits in the bigger story but it's a hard thing to do and you know either way i have my manga collection has expanded because of you guys my manga palette has expanded because of you guys and i think we are all better off as listeners and friends and everything else for listening to the Big Eyes podcast. So I just wanted to say that before I shroud into the mist. And I mean, you guys will hear me tomorrow. We're doing Mob Psycho 100, so you'll hear me then. But and we'll talk a little bit more. I'm sure before the summer ends, Jamal and AD, you guys will be also be on the summer at Kami House. But yeah, you know. One 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 part of the journey eventually leads to the next. One, you take everything that you learn here. You take all the martial arts and the turtle hermit training and, and, and all the other shit that you learned. And you say, and you go to Namek and you say, fuck it. You know, I'm going to destroy this freaky alien genotype um, known as Frieza. So take all this stuff that you learn and take it on to the next thing. And I look forward to seeing you guys listening to you guys at the next thing. Um, that's all I got to say. Well, man, you already that's know, I, I, I appreciate you. Um, thank you for taking a chance on me. And when I came to you with this idea of being like, yo, can I talk about manga weekly? Um, thank you for all the last second covers um and the last second edits in the days where i couldn't record and i'm like can i please push it back a day and you know release it so it's it's definitely been a journey and you have been such a, a helpful hand and a, and a part of his growth and a part of his success and you know none of this happens without you so you already know man i, I know love you bro and, and just thank you for for everything like i i can't say thank you enough like you have literally 
put me in a space and place where I've gotten to do things because of this podcast that I've never thought I'd be able to do. Like, man, we went to anime conventions and interview people. I got to talk to editors. I got to talk to someone who worked on like you. Like, it's just like yeah. little things I you know that I've never really thought like this podcast would be able to go do that. And then now it's, you know, like you said, even though this chapter is closing, I know the next chapter is going to allow us to do bigger and better things for the lookout as a whole. So, you know, it, like, you know, one chapter closes and, and a new chapter begins, but I'm just really happy to to have someone like you, um, you know, walking with me in this. So I appreciate you, bro. Always. Man, I feel the same exact way. Like he took the words right out of my mouth for real, man. Like without, like, I know I, you, you guys invited me on and it was a trial time for me. And I was like, man, I'm just here to have fun because, you know, I ain't get a chance to talk to manga with anybody for real. Like I wasn't even into that much stuff, but you guys invite me along, just just giving me more insight to things that I enjoy. Like for real, for y'all call me an encyclopedia and knowledge and stuff. Like I would, it's all Google. Like I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like a lot of the time. <laughs> But you're willing to use that. Google yeah, that you're really willing game. to use it. I'm not. <laughs> like, I'll just be like, skip it. I'm in the dark. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, the, the great thing about you, AD, is if you don't know how to do something, you'll figure out how to do it. If I need something, you'll figure out how to find it. And that's a, you're a resource in itself. And that's why, I mean, I've known you for over a decade at this point. Yeah. Um, so I've always known the resource that you are and, 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 and just, you know, you're a good guy, man. So I, I, I appreciate it takes two to tango. There wouldn't be a lookout network without a second podcast because then it would just be the lookout podcast. So without you guys, we wouldn't have started the network and we wouldn't be in the place that we're at right now. So yeah, I'm very I'm very happy for you guys. I said this would be five minutes, it's ten. So all right, you gotta go do you got stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, go handle business. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I appreciate <laughs> right. you. Thank yeah. you for pulling up, bro. Much love, we'll see. Right, no problem. We'll see you at Summer at Comics. We're not Summer at Comics ain't officially finished yet. Yeah, no, we just, just had to go to the mainland long. for a second. Like we coming back. We spinning the block. <laughs> yeah. All right, for sure. Please. Man. Really wow, what a guy. Yeah, man. What a guy. Yeah. What a lad. What a, what a guy. What a dude. Just a guy being a dude. That's because that's love. But you no, know it's this the last episode. It's bittersweet. I got I got you know, I'm a little emotional. It's been a fun ride. Yeah, man. Uh what was your favorite moments like out of the last few years? Favorite moments? Yeah. Um ooh. Arguing with people on this podcast. Yeah. Arguing with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting able to just get off my craziest take. Getting off. You know what's crazy? I would say some insane things on here and then just see a lot of them play out and me being right. That was just all I needed. That was it. Like, I said some ridiculous things on here and. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I will always admit when I'm both, though. So yeah. I, I, but nah, man. Um, like I wouldn't say like, like I said, it's not really a moment. It's just the fact that like I've been able to like gain friends from this and gain yeah. people who now I talk, you know, manga about and like to hear people, you know, just random strangers be on my DMs sometimes. Like, man, I would have never tapped into X, Y, and Z if it wasn't for y'all. Yeah. I would have never done this because, like, that type of stuff was like, dang, that's crazy. Like, like when I started this, I was, like, just getting back into reading manga consistently. Like, I, you know, it was just one of those things where I was just like, I'm bored. Like, Shoney jumps on, what, like, two ninety nine a month? I'm mm-hmm. sure, whatever. Might as well get to reading stuff. And no, I was just reading and reading. And obviously, the lookout was going on. You know, for me, I was just like, you know, and I was in a creative pocket where it's like, I need a creative outlet somehow, some way. And you no, know, and I reached out to Mills and, you know, just texted him. I was like, hey, I have an idea for a podcast to do for lookout. If you're open to it, um, you know, just be like talking about manga and not anime. And, you know, it could be something weekly. Uh, and I, you know, he was like, well, okay, cool. Like, you know, let's talk about it. And, you know, we got on the phone. We we're talking. I was like, "He's like, you got a name for it?" I was like, uh, "I said, what about the Big Eyes podcast?" And he was like, "That's tight." He's like, "You don't need to say nothing else." He's like, "That's it right there." Like the Big Eyes, it works. I was just like, "He's like Big Eyes, like anime or in manga, they all got big eyes." So I was just like, "That's cool." And then he, um, 
And then after that, we kind of just, like I said, game planned a little bit. He helped me make that first cover. I remember doing the first mock episode, and I sent it to him, J5, and Jeff. Um, and, like, they listened to it and got feedback from it. They're like, man, it sounds good. And I remember that first episode. I think I've told this story a thousand times. The first episode, I recorded on, I recorded on the floor. Like, it was, like, 2 in the morning. I recorded on the floor because... I, I know I literally wrote out, I have, I think I still had the sheet somewhere, but I essentially wrote out every single thought that I said on that episode and like read it from a piece of paper. Like, <laughs> I was so, cause you know, at the time it was just me talking to myself, you know, yeah. it's like 30 minutes of you having to talk to yourself and like have like essentially I'm trying to have an engaging conversation by myself. Yeah. I'm just talking like, man, this happened and that happened. Like, what do I think about this? Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm just like, you know what? And, you know, I kept it flowing, kept it going. And then obviously you came around what, like episode around 26, episode 27, or something like 26, 26, yeah. 27. After I begged you was <laughs> begging you like a week. No, because here's the thing. Here's the, no, it, no was, it, was, was, it was like, like a bro, half a year because what happened was like, I was, I was still at my dad's spot and I was like, just, just rooming there and i have no time whatsoever i'd be getting home from work around like nine o'clock at night just to get back up and at like six in the morning drive an hour to work every day man like it was just i just didn't have the time i i literally had to wait until i moved and then once you hit me up again it was like hey yo you trying to get on the episode i was like you know what i can actually do that shit this time like you know like so i appreciate you at least like giving me the call again back when i had my shit together because at the time i was just like Running around ragged. I, I couldn't even read manga for real. Like, you know what I was reading at the time? I was reading only Spy Family, and I think it was Samurai 8. Wait a minute, Spy Family, once again, <laughs> Spy Family is the connective factor. Of all yeah. The yeah. We got to give it up for Spy. If it wasn't, this is why real Spy talk. Family, like, we hold it in such high regard. It's not yeah. just a good model, it connects people, yes. it brings people together. It literally Spy brought them family together. Brought, <laughs> Spy family, like, is the is the healing factor of beefs. Like, wars could be stopped over Spy Family, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you could put this in the street and niggas will stop shooting at each other if they just read Spy Family. Not for real. Like, it it, it brings the people together. It, it's it's the voice. It, it's literally the voice. Like, you got to read Spy Family. You sit down and you enjoy it. Especially with last chapter. Oh, man, listen. Last chapter, we was actually getting somewhere. Like we are actually getting somewhere with the story. So like, oh yeah, we're 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 back into it. Okay, hold on. You know what? Here's the trooper. No, nah, no, don't walk away now. <laughs> this is what do. You do this every time. You finally get your chance to shine, and then you walk away. You have been a trooper for 120 weeks. Do you booty? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've been a trooper for 120 weeks while so recorded. It does say AD. Um, I and, and I want the headphones. No, I'll headphone. keep it all of this in. I gotta keep it. 120 <laughs> episodes in the background. In the, you have been a trooper. There's been times I've had to record with you on my lap, and you're like, Auntie, or you're in the room, and you're like, Please, can you play with me? And I'm like, Let me just finish this episode. Thank you, Kai, for being the best ever. Here, do you want to say something to the people before we go? Please make it appropriate, though. Understand. Understand? Okay. I'm playing on the switch. Okay, you're playing on the switch. Okay. All right, adios. No! Adios. <laughs> no, that's the real MVP right there. There's been many times where I'm like, he's like, I have, like, we haven't played. And I'm like, I'm sorry, we're going to play. I promise you as soon as this is done. <laughs> no, not right now. We got to finish up. It's the last one. Do you get me back for Sundays? Never. Never. Okay, I guess. I guess you don't give me back for Sunday. So I guess we are following Meals Plan. We are coming back. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man. Like it's been a ride for real, for real. That's it's crazy how how much have we we've read over the last one hundred and twenty episodes, man. Like it. We went from Demon Slayer running good to Promise Neverland. All the way through the new stuff, man. It's just been 
Things are that's the thing. Like Demon Slayer was running. I'm saying like, Promise Neverland was running. Those two ended around the same time. Exactly. That was crazy. When those two ended back to back, that left a big gap. I'm saying we was trying to figure out what what's next up, and I think Chainsaw Man ended the same year in like December. Like, come on, man. We was we was in we was in some tough times. We was like, oh, I don't know about the future of Shonen Jump. Um, oh yeah, they were shaky for them. I don't care. Yeah, they were. They got late locked up and hit on some big ones. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Because I wasn't banging with Undead on Luck at first. Sakamoto Days was hard to me. Yeah, uh, Yosa Core Mission that was cool. Mm-hmm. We got Witch Watch on the way. Yeah, they had Witch Watch just starting. Listen, but at the time, like I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen was still running. I mean, that but was that was early really on. Like, that we I don't even that think, was we wasn't even really through Shibuya for real at that time. Like. Oh hell no, he wasn't. Even, man, listen, Shibuya ran too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen, because I, I wasn't even caught up. That was the thing. I remember you being like, "Bro, you gotta read JJK. You gotta read JJK." And then I just ended up like reading all the way through to Gojo's past. We get to the beginning of Shibuya, and then we get to the uh, the chapter with uh, Sakuna versus Jogo. And all of that stuff that happened, man, and it was just an insane time back then. We were still going through Chainsaw Man at the time, man. Like that was it was a wild times. And it was. <laughs> it, it was fun though. Yeah. Oh yeah. We had. I mean, I, mean Ch- I think Chainsaw Man was like one of the first things I talked about on like, I think like the third episode. See, I, I wasn't even there. It was like there. the third, like third episode. I started talking. About, I was like, "Yo, this shit is wicked." I'm like, he started. You know, selling his balls. Yeah. I'm like, first chapter. Yeah. I was like, it's the yeah. first yeah. chapter. Yeah. Yeah. What? What's... I was like, dang. He was just like, man, my man. All he wanted to do was have a nice hot meal and and touch some titties. And I was just like, yeah. yo, what am I reading right now? Exactly. I was like, that shit is crazy, man. And I caught up to that. I remember it was a, I think it was a Falcons game or something that was happening. I was like, bro, fuck this shit. Like, I'm I'm sick of this. And then. It, I told you about my first experience with Chainsaw Man, to which we just had the episode with Cyrus on the Summer at Comrade House. So if you want to listen back to our thoughts on some more Chainsaw Man, you can re- rerun that back. But listen, man, the first time I seen Makama, I was like, oh, no, nah, this ain't this ain't it, player. It's, it's not what it was. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That was, I mean, I think, yeah, just like seeing Chainsaw Man just like take over yeah. everything was that was insane to see wait like, real quick before we don't get a chance to talk about it how are you feeling about part 2 right now I like it I like it's a little it weird yeah it's a little weird so far I like how they introduced another character I like how they introduced um a demon that was mentioned before mm-hmm. in part 1 uh that's playing a big role and I like how I like how we haven't seen Denji yet. I like kind of like this mystique of Denji. Of like, where is he at? Like, you kind of yeah. know what he's doing, but you don't really like see him just yet. You know, he's going to the school and everything. Um, I don't know. Like, I I just enjoy where this story is going so far. I I can't wait to see like what other devils are introduced throughout it. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I I just like the I like the different vantage point. I like the different um. You know, I, I wonder how the control devil is about to get pulled into this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think I think there's a lot of things right now that are. I mean, obviously, what third chapter is dropping tomorrow. Yeah. So you know, it's very early on, but I I just already like the the playing ground in which they're laying out so far. Same, same. Just yeah, I can, I, I mimic that because it's like it's it's a good start. The main character right now, she she going through it uh, at the moment, but. You know, she she's very fun and endearing, and I really want to see how like she overcomes the the problems that she's facing at the moment. Cause she she's going through it, man. High school is no, she is. Man, listen, the fact that she don't even remember what the hell she did. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> you know, she got that dual, you know, that that she got it, that it's that moon uh, night. Dr. Je- yeah, for real, that Doctor Jekyll, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde shit going yeah. on. But um no, so far though, man, like uh I've just yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot so far. Jujutsu Kaisen is getting mad confusing right now, so yeah. I'm just kind of I'm just vibing with it. Yeah, I'm just vibing with it. I'm just like, okay, cool. It is what it is. More, more family um, stuff, you know. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, Black Clover Black came Clover. back. I like the little time skip. Yeah, you know we get a little, we get we get eighteen year old Oscar. We get some love confessions. Mm-hmm. Then we get then we get Julius. Mm-hmm. We already started off kind of. Yeah, they already kind of. They they're just like, okay, let's get right into it. <laughs> Somebody's getting kidnapped. Them jumping into this is, lets me know someone's getting kidnapped yeah. very soon, and it might be Asta. It might be the nun. Okay, I mean the nun could be. Nah. I mean, he, he got it out the way. He got that little confession out the way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't see her. Um. Yeah, I don't see her. I don't see her really being a part of this last little arc. I also got to give it up, though. Yeah. He, he did his little confession. I was it. He said he was you know? giving it up. He was like, yeah, nah, this is my last go round. I had to try. So, like, you know, just watch me. Watch me get these money up. You know what I'm saying? Just watch me run my bands up. Man, listen. Shout out to. Hey, listen. That leaves the opening for Shorty. Yeah. Yeah. If she she can recover from that. She was hard. She was sick. Just watching that. <laughs> both of them actually, because they both Ooh, about to, <laughs> they're about to throw up on themselves, <laughs> crying and throwing up. I was like, damn, I was that's a, that's tough. I was like, that's hard to see. I couldn't. Yeah, you're not the first not. choice. That's crazy. Not even the first choice. Just imagine somebody like. You about to profess your love to somebody and they just yeah. walking on. I was like, let's get married now. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. buddy. Where did this, where did this competition come from? I need even, yeah, it was just like, wait, hold on. Where has she been this entire time? They're confused. Oh man. Man, hard times, hard times. It is. But um, but nah, uh, nah, I'm ex- I'm excited to see what happens on this final art. That's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, speaking of final arcs, shout out to my hero for letting everybody shine. Yeah, yeah, for a little bit. Sun Eater getting his little moment. Bakugo getting his little moment, and mm. Bakugo got his little head nod from Best Genius. Yeah, man, uh, listen, Endeavor was... might be in the Endeavor might be in the body bag. I don't know yet. To be determined. Uh, yeah, to be determined. We we gotta see how that plays out. But I also want to give a shout out to Nedra. Like, even though she's playing support, you know, she she's still holding it down too. A lot more of one of the useful women in, in my hero for sure. Like they're not letting her play off to the side. So like everybody getting their love in the spotlight. Um nah, for real. Shout out to the documentary team. They're getting on the little genius hive, you know what I'm saying? They're just getting some unreleased <laughs> footage. Yeah, they down they down there just recording everything. Oh, uh, not only that, it's like, <laughs> um, just Mirio getting <laughs> inside of Shiggy head. Listen, he was getting them bars off. He was like, "Bro, you ain't got no friends." Oh yeah, then nah, but Shiggy had like a real moment though. He was like breaking down. Yeah, he's like, "You don't know these hands, <laughs> literally. You don't know them." Yeah. <laughs> Started naming all names. I was like, "Who the fuck were these people?" I was like, "I've never." Oh, when life. they said Toga or something like that, this nigga started saying like his his elementary school playground team. Like, man, I was like, "Who the fuck are these people?" Yeah. I was like, "All right, whatever, cool, do your thing." Um. But nah, yeah, that I mean, it's 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 picking up. Yeah, it's picking up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let us end off on some my hero hate. No, 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 no. My hero held it down. My hero did what it needed to do. I can't like once again. I may not enjoy every aspect of the story, but guess what? You can't deny the numbers. You can't. You can't deny the numbers. And now is it doing Demon Slayer numbers? No. But Demon Slayer is <laughs> That's a special case. Different. That's a special case. Even Jujutsu Kaisen, I like special case, but nah, my hero for for Western fans, shit. It held it that's down. Dragon Ball. That's Dragon Ball Z for a lot of kids. Yeah, not for real. Dog. That's exactly what it is. It's Dragon Ball Z for a lot of kids. So listen, shout out to them. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say Dragon Ball C. I'll. It's more Naruto for for kids now. I mean, that's what Dragon. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, Z. I mean, yeah, yeah. Z. 
And then, uh, yeah. So it's like every generation kind of get their little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you had to think about like every decade, Dragon Ball was nineties, kind of two thousands. Then you got Naruto, kind of two thousands to twenty ten. And then we got My Hero. Yeah, no, nah. My Hero been holding it down. Um, definitely something easy to digest for kids or like for like newer anime fans. So mm-hmm. I understand the appeal. Um. Speaking of the uh, biggest thing, the biggest thing I gotta say though, motherfucking One Piece. Oh man, listen, twenty five years and we still going strong. I don't know how Oda does it, Barry. Like I, I don't understand. It's not even that. Like these, these like past couple chapters have been crazy. Man, the Shank stocks have been going up. Oh, Shank, man, listen. <laughs> Shank pulls up on straight business. Like, every time you see him, it's like, this thing is not here to play with y'all. Not like, at I'm all. I'm not here to, like, goof off. I'm not here to, like, ha ha, he he with y'all. I'm here about business. We're pirates. Exactly. You gotta remind y'all what the, like, like, he's like, no, y'all, y'all don't make a fool of me. I am a, I am a real life pirate. <laughs> I come here to handle business. Don't be over here thinking it's sweet. Man, um, it's, it's not just that. We getting, like, biz- this nigga shooting from deep range with, like, threatening niggas, like, 50 miles out on some, nigga, what the fuck you doing here? Like, <laughs> you not finna bother these boys. Like, you need to step off. Man, listen, Shanks is, Shanks is a go. I, I see why he got his movie come out. Everybody's saying that he's doing promo material right now. He's He got to get the promo talk off. But oh, I- he do. <laughs> when does the movie come out? Uh, it comes out, so it comes out in August in Japan, and then October, I think, here. Okay, for sure. Yeah, because we gotta get the Dragon Ball. I hope we get, I hope, I hope, I hope we get the, uh, you see the popcorn things? No. You didn't see, like, they had a, had a, um, when you get in there, there's a special popcorn holder, like a devil fruit popcorn holder that you can get. No, I ain't seen none like of that. Tight. All right, I, I got to see tight. that. I got to see it's that. Tight. I'll send it to you. Man. It's tight, though. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to be up in there. I'm going to see the little Dragon Ball movie, too. I have to do that on obligation. Yeah, same. Honestly. Like, you got to do that. Like, man. It's required. It. Like, it's like, yeah, at this point, it's like, bro, I've given you so much time in my life. Like, like, you you know what Dragon Ball is, but at the same time, like, man, it's Dragon Ball. You gotta you gotta pay you gotta pay them dudes just a little bit, and yeah, you got to. I, I gotta, you know they're gonna go give you a it. fun ride. They're gonna give you something fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Uh, I mean, I've I've caught some of the spoilers. And I'm just kind of just like, yeah. Like I said, I'm going in there out of obligation. It's like I feel like I have to do it. <laughs> Not going there as a fan. I'm going there as someone who's kind of just like, listen, I've already signed this contract. I yeah, gotta do it. Yeah, same. Honestly. Uh oh man, we gotta talk about the GOAT. He's actually been working hard trying to trying to deliver for us. You know, to Oh man, listen. He said the first ten chapters done. First ten chapters done. He already working on the next ten. Woo! Listen, my boy putting it. Listen, he putting his body through the ringer right now for he is. us. He is. Hey, what if these next <laughs> chapters are ass? Bro, don't say that. Yeah, Please I mean, don't say that. <laughs> hey, we gotta be. Oh, we gotta. No, no, no. We have to understand. <laughs> this is kind of the fucked up part about us ending right now. Because when Togashi come back, we 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 might have to put out a special like. <laughs> Y'all can catch me in the Discord talking about it. Hey, y'all want to talk? Y'all want to talk? We yeah. gonna talk about it in the Discord. Yeah. We, can do, we can do a little spaces thing. Yeah, you know, with me, bro. Listen, big eyes is done. Yeah, right now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, what if though? Man, you gotta understand. It's a, listen, Togashi, my guy. Listen, Togashi, my king for real. But you gotta be able to call a spade a spade. You right about <laughs> that? Understand, understand? There's a possibility on the table. These next chapters are are Bunzino. Man, I'm not. I'm expecting nothing but great. I'm giving them. I'm giving them. If at least six out of the ten are heat, I'll take it. I can't take nothing less than six out of the ten being 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 heat. I gotta. You get, get us like 
Yeah, he can't give us half and half. He can't shoot fifty from the field. If he shoots, if he shoots sixty percent from the field. I'm cool with it. I'll I respect that. It. I respect that. You know what? I respect that because that's above average. You know what I'm saying? Like, but also at the same time, like I feel like he's had four years to kind of like think through his thoughts on how he wants to get things done. So these ten chapters got to be something crazy. They they just have to be something that just get us out there, man. I, I don't know, but at the same time, like I'm just happy that he's even giving us giving us the work. Nah, yeah, man. Listen, he's doing. Um... Nah, yeah, he's he's doing. You know, he's doing it, and like we're just happy to see him come back. We're happy to see you know the what whatever comes out of it. I know that fans are just happy that he's back to work. Mm. I know he probably got to shake some rust off. I'm not gonna expect greatness from the first couple chapters, but you know what? It's gonna be fun. I, what? So the question is though, too, are they gonna drop on Shonen Jump? Like, are they gonna That's like? That's a very big question because the chapters ain't out there. The chapters are not on Shonen Jump. The the volumes are, but the chapters aren't. And on Manga Plus, they only got like the first three and the last three. So that's a very good question. On Manga Plus? Yeah, on Manga Plus. You can only read the first three and the last three? Yep. Damn, that's crazy. So, like, we, I don't know for real. I'm not going to hold you. They left off at a crazy spot, too. They on the boat. Mm-hmm. Niggas started fighting on the boat. Hisako on that boat. Yeah, Hisako on the boat. Troop on the boat trying to find a man. Kurapika still being a, a, a teacher, trying to teach everybody how to use Nen. That nigga is an assassin. That's the fuck he is. We got, he got the kid. fourth prince out there being basically Dio. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I, well, I hope he jumps back on the boat soon, yeah. as, soon as. Um, Man. Wow. We're ending. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It's been fun, though. Like I said, like, I, you know, I, w- I would have not wanted to do this with anybody else. And I, I you know. It, like I said, it's been an absolutely fun, you know, absolute fun ride so far. Yeah, man. So, but we still um, here. We st- we still gonna be around. Y'all still gonna hear us on yeah, the lookout, man. man. We, yeah. Listen, you're gonna hear us on the lookout. Me and AD got other things coming, so it's not like we're going away. Yeah. It's just the show. No, maybe we make this just a summer at Kame special. You know, give y'all we we come back every summer, give y'all a couple things. You know, red and full. Yeah. In totality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. Uh, to everybody that has listened, to to all the homies who have been on the show, to all the homies in the Discord who we have argued with, goddamn, <laughs> goddamn, X Van, shout out to the shout out to the Blackberry shout boys. That's some fucking le- that's some legendary episodes man, right there. Listen, that was a three peat, man. That was that, crazy. That first, no, that first, the one, first one was insane. The first one, we were supposed I didn't to get think canceled. Yeah, we weren't even supposed to do that again. I, I, was, I don't know how we got two more done. That was ridiculous. I can't believe we were able to do that. That was a wild ass man. Shout out to the shout out to the Black Variant Boys, and they've been killing it too. They've yeah. been also they they've been they've, they've been, been on running it up for real. Um, nah, man, they they mean those those episodes. Those are absolute. I don't even can't even count those. It's like goddamn. Those are like <laughs> spinoffs. There was like one shot. Like, yeah, it was like big eyes to the max, man. I don't know. It was big eyes point five, man. That was that was some wild <laughs> shit. Um, nah, man, for real. Shout out to them. Shout out to uh, I mean, Carla Clark, Mike Montessa. Yeah, who, you know, our our two interviews that we've done been able to do, who gave us some great insight on just. The, the the manga business, especially mm-hmm. on the Western side of things, yep. and uh, you know, learning about the business is something that has, has definitely been eye opening and fun for me. Because like obviously I enjoy the art, I enjoy the creative side of it, of it, but like I understand that it's not just somebody drawing something and putting it on some paper, and then next thing you know it's in my like I understand it's a whole process of of everything mm-hmm. that that gets done. So you know, shout out to them for really being so so insightful and such great guests. Um, uh, the, the other homies that have been on Cyrus, Skip, yeah. Sid, uh, JB. Shit, JB, who's the goddamn goat. Fucking shout out to yeah. JB, all the YouTube clips, yeah. Um, hey, hey, he's a motherfucking monster, man. Shout out to JB, uh, Flow, uh, Nick, yeah, Flow, Nick, man, shit, shout out to y'all. 
of you know Flo, he gets mad at me because I never send him the cover in, 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 <laughs> in, in, on time for Instagram. So shout out to Flo for dealing with me. Uh, yeah, shout out to Nick, another person who's been on this uh, podcast multiple times. Uh, I know I'm going to forget some people. Um, shout out to all the guests who came on for Summer at Kame's. Uh, um, uh, uh, Sid. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to Sid, who he's come on here and argued with us constantly and multiple times. Shout out to Victoria, who gave us one of my favorite episodes oh, yeah. with the Sailor Moon episode. That was super fun with the manga of the month. Mm-hmm. Um and and not even just that, like Victoria. Nah, hold on real quick. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on go real ahead, quick. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, she really deserves a special shout out because a lot of things that's happening, like she done held it down so crazy and done supported so crazy and show love so crazy just out of the goodness of her heart. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all better go listen to Mooney's Club and y'all better go like support her super crazy too. Like the way she's done, not even just us, just the lookout in general. Victoria is the fucking best. Like shot. Like she's so fucking tight. Um, so much love. Shout out to her. Um, shit, man. I'm missing people. I'm Uh, sorry. I miss you. I, I, you end up getting missed, bro. I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. Just know I love you and know that just thank you for real from the bottom of my heart. Uh, shout out to J Five. Yeah, J fucking J Five. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't you know. It's RNC forever. It's RNC for life. So it's just you know this shit. You know this shit wasn't wouldn't be possible without him either. Like he was definitely one of the first ones. Like where I when I first started this, I mean I would ask him for advice of just like yo, like how can I sound better as a podcaster? And he you know he would always give me tidbits of information. I know just little gems here and there. Like even before our first interview, I asked him like, bro, like. How can I be like? How do you do a good interview? Like, I, um, I don't even know how to. In you know, he he made sure that I came in prepared. So shout out to J Five for real, man. Who who has shown love since day one is big me up. Um, you know, since day one when I was just like still, you know, new to just getting my feet wet and didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'm just on here talking. He's you no, know, but he's definitely helped me grow as as a creative. Um, and I always appreciate J Five for everything. Um, Jeff obviously he's like the oh, unofficial. Yeah. He's like the unofficial third, like big eyes member. Yeah, like he really, like really is the third one. Yeah. Um, definitely had know, to hold it down. Yeah, Jeff done held it down for me multiple times on here, but not even just that. Just like man, you know, as I as my, you know, manga taste expanded, he done put me on to some shit. I don't, like so. It's just like you know, man, shout out to Jeff for real. He done. Help like he's such a critical part of this whole show and this whole series. Um, shit, man, like all the homies, bro, who has ever retweeted, liked it, shared it. Uh, fuck, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I got, man. Like, I'm I'm just happy that we've been able to do this. I'm happy that you know that you know I've I can say I did 120 episodes talking about something that I loved and. You know, I, I've watched it grow and I've watched it become something bigger than I ever intended it to be. And now we about to move on and do bigger and better things. And, and this is this will always but this will always be step one. This will yeah. always be the first one. This is you, you always remember your first. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. It's it's going to be big eyes forever, man. Like for real. So um, before but before we end it, like I do got to say, you know, you know, we get to the end of this episode. We're gonna have like some special tributes planned. You know, got to some some of the homies actually sent us some things, some parting some parting messages. So at the end of this episode, you'll you'll hear all of those just like planned. And we're here, we're here. So for for one last time, thank y'all once again. Y'all already know though. Y'all need to still follow the lookout. Uh, subscribe to wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Make sure you're following RNC Radio Live. Make sure you're following everything under the RNC Radio Live. So make sure you're following the A Show. Make sure you're following fucking um, Black Variant, the Black Variant, and all that. Make sure you make sure you tapped in. Make sure you tapped in with the Black Print. All that, like mm-hmm. y'all, 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 wherever y'all listen to podcasts, whatever your favorite social media is. I don't care. Instagram, Twitter, fuck it. I don't care. You need to make sure you're following, supporting the homies, and still what we're doing. Um. Yeah, AD, for the last time, what's the sign off? You already know. Please keep reading manga. Keep watching anime. 
And until next time, whenever, it's still Big Eyes Forever, man. Take care. Honestly, honestly, what more can I say about LJ and AD? You know what I'm saying? For 120 episodes, these dudes have discussed on a weekly basis the mangas people should be getting into, the mangas that needed work, good storylines, bad storylines, everything in between. Very passionate when it comes to just covering like the, the series that need to be covered. And sometimes bringing people onto series that I didn't even know were actually kind of fire, you know? All in all, it's gonna be a, a big hole, you know, kind of like missing without big eyes here on a weekly basis. But uh, I think the moral of the story is people can really create something, create a community, bring people in, challenge uh, the, the norms of what is something good, what is something bad, and like really critique something when it comes to like, hey, why do you like it? Why is this awesome to you? Is it because it's easy for you to digest? Or you're not challenging yourself to take on new uh, content. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of sad that this is ending, but it doesn't mean the community is over. I always feel just because something ends doesn't mean something you can't begin. So really appreciate AD and LJ for episode 120 of Big Eyes Podcast. To bigger and better. We're uh, looking forward to whatever else you guys do. Appreciate you guys always. This is JB from the Lookout Network. And I want to say thank you to LJ and AD for all their hard work on the Big Eyes Podcast. I've read so much more manga in the last few years thanks to this show. I had a blast editing highlights for the last year and a half, and it was an honor getting to appear on the show earlier this year. Thanks again for everything, guys. Hey, man, this is Big Tim. I just want to give AD and PD Crack their flowers for their run on Big Eyes. Uh, not only for consistently, yeah, consistently giving out hilarious episodes, keeping it, you know, keeping it real with, you know, weak ass chapters, week in and week out, when artists doing bullshit such as poor Koshi, because that guy's a hoe. But you know, also just for introducing, you know, a wide variety of manga to, to the listeners. I know from my personal experience, um, my eyes have been open to like new mangas that I never thought I would pick up such as like Sakamoto Days, um, Jujutsu Kaisen, which I'm glad I listened to you guys because that that honestly was like my favorite out the new new generation of manga. Um, and another one which is the most surprising to me, honestly, is, is Blue Box. If LaMelo Ball didn't get on this podcast week in and week out and vouch for that shit the way he did, I would have I would have never in my life picked that shit up. But it, it's, you know, you guys don't miss... When y'all know heat, y'all know it. And I don't give a fuck what anybody gotta say. Whether it's Biz Media, Shona Jump, fucking Fujimoto himself, somebody gotta cut the check. Cause y'all put Chainsaw Man on the fucking on a map. I don't care what anybody gotta say, man. Take a bow for that shit, man. You, you like you guys have honestly sparked uh the intrigue and manga that I have not had since 2013. The one for this podcast, like I, I wouldn't be. I, I I stopped reading manga in like 2013 when like Bleach ended. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have like really picked this shit back up. Uh, so yeah, I just appreciate the fact you know that y'all really put my fuckers on game and shit, man. So you know, take a bow. Uh, you know, I wish I could say cheers some more episodes, but it is what it is. You know, everything don't last forever. But shit, man, y'all did y'all thing while y'all was going, man. So shit, salute to both of y'all. Hey man, it's X, X from uh, the Black Variant at X the Exile. Um, I don't want to keep y'all long. I just want to take a second to say, Jamal and AD, y'all have contributed so much and, and provided so much to this community that we've been building over the last couple of years. Um, you touched my lives, you touched Van's lives, you touched so many people's lives, you've influenced so much, so many people, brought them back into a, a space that, you know, a lot of people talk about being alienated from, but, you know, y'all blacked it up as much as y'all could. Um, thank you for being the most niggerish niggas I know in the manga space. Thank y'all for being thank me thank y'all for being yourselves. Thank you for for being who we love. Thank you for being authentic. Um, and we know there's more coming soon, but I'm gonna be sad to see y'all go. Love y'all dog. Uh, stay dangerous.